We know that we can't get back to the pristine state that it once was, but you know, we're trying to maintain and have a sustainable life and, and keep our traditions true and our culture as rich as it was before. I remember, you know, when I was very little, there was um, stories being told that it still wasn't safe to go down to the beach because there was a spill that happened um, just across the way. And my mom used to swim back and forth across the inlet. And with the traffic and everything, there's there was always like a gleam on the inlet. We visited the, the tar sands and um, just saw the ruins of what once used to be a boreal forest and just abundant with wildlife and um, wild berries and roots and medicines from flowers and just the ecosystem was just blossoming. And when we went there, the, the dirt was just gray. If you could call it dirt, it was, it was just no life. Before this project came, Slaywatooth was working on rehabilitating some of uh, the clam garden beds that we seeked out. We're really working on the salmon bearing streams and we've cleaned them to a point where um, they've come back sevenfold in their numbers and had a place to go and spawn. So all these projects that we've been working on before this project came, would totally be decimated. The reason why um, Trans Mountain had asked the Canadian Energy Regulator to um, keep the insurance because um, private is because they were saying they're going to lose money. That's all they had to say is we're going to lose money, make this private. It all goes with the with the gold, the gold rush mentality. They see that that object and and want more of it. You know the coastline, the ports, the, the accessibility. Um, that was all once um, harmonious with the environment that and everything that lived in it. Mm -hmm.